We're currently in the midst of the sixth global extinction crisis and many species around the world are disappearing. Amphibians are one of the groups that are worst hit with over 30% of species currently threatened around the world. So what are the causes of global amphibian declines? The primary cause of decline is destruction of habitat and fragmentation, which are things that we can easily fix. However, disease and climate change are also emerging as major threats to amphibians around the world. The Environmental Futures Research Institute is working with the Griffith Climate Change Response Program to look at how amphibians are likely to respond to climate change. One of our projects is looking specifically at mountaintop endemics. These are frogs that live only on mountaintops and are at high risk from extinction due to climate change. This is because as the warmer temperatures rise on the mountain, the frog could literally be pushed off the top of the mountain. So to examine this problem is not simple, it's not easy. We have a lot of work to do to try to assess how a frog is likely to respond. The first thing we need to do is find out where the frogs are, and that requires a lot of field work. So one of my PhD students, Marielle, is out in the field searching for frogs constantly trying to find these very rare mountaintop endemics. Once Marielle finds these frogs, we then need to start looking at why they occur where they do. And the first thing to do that is to make sure that we actually detected them. So detectability and working out our probability of finding a frog is also very important. The next step is to find out what are the environmental conditions at that site which allow the frogs to survive. So we're looking at things like the maximum temperature at which a frog can survive in, the minimum temperatures at which frogs can survive. We do this using experimental labs in the field. The next thing we need to do is look at the actual temperature of the environment in which the frogs occur. And for doing that, we need to use temperature loggers. And we put these out in the environment to find out what the temperatures are like. We also need to monitor rainfall and see how that affects the response of frogs to the environment. Once we understand the thermal environment of a frog in its current environment, we can then start to examine how it's likely to respond to climate change. And the best way to do this is to use current climate change scenarios and model how current distributions are likely to change with future global warming. Studying these rare mountaintop endemics gives us a really good idea of how other species are likely to respond to climate change. And this group of animals that live in what appears to be beautiful pristine rainforests are still highly threatened by global warming. So it appears as though the mountaintop endemics will be pushed off the top of the mountain. And we need to do everything we can to mitigate climate change.